The pandemic has impacted everything from our schools to jobs, even sports and the arts. For performers with the Utah Symphony and Utah Opera, they haven't performed live in more than six months. KSL TV producer Francis Cook explains how they're doing it. Life during a pandemic can sometimes feel like being on a deserted island. With social events on hold, the stage of the Utah Opera went dark. For part of the summer, we ended up having to furlough everyone uh, just to reserve cash and make sure that we could start the season up again. Once everybody came back, it has been lightning speed. President and CEO Stephen Brosvick says they've been forced to take a fresh look at how they do shows and what shows they can do. The last six months, as you can imagine, have been pretty chaotic trying to take the season we had already planned, which was full scale, very large, and try to reimagine that so that we could safely distance everyone on stage, all the crew backstage, and also the audience in the hall. From social distancing to wearing masks inside the theater, even going mobile for tickets and show programs, the season was reimagined both on and off the stage in a matter of weeks, a process which usually takes years. Normally, we're planning a season two years out. Normally, we'd be planning now for the 22-23 season. For the first time since March, performers are warming up for a whole new kind of performance in front of an audience of just 300 in a hall which holds 1,700. It's incredibly important for musicians to get back to performing live. It's what they've trained all their lives for. It's all very personal to them. Rosvick says while it's important for the performers, they're here for the audience. Getting them out to enjoy an evening and try to get back to something that's normal and something that's entertaining and something that can actually change their lives. An ongoing pandemic, a performing art that has stood the test of time. The curtain for the Utah Opera will finally reopen. Everyone is excited, thrilled, focused, and ready to go. Francis Cook, KSL 5 News.